Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Please consider subscribing if you are new here. Thank you sa mga bago naming subscribers at yung mga magaganda nating comments ay nababasa ko lahat po yun. Maraming salamat din doon sa mga negative or antagonistic comment. Nakakatulong yun para lalang pagbutihin natin yung ginagawa natin. Today's lesson will be has and have. Yung has ay singular at yung have ay plural. Etong dalawang to ay pwedeng maging main verbs at pwede ring helping verbs. Now, may kaugnayan pa rin to sa subject verb agreement. Dito sa lesson na to, ang pakatatandaan lang po natin ay kung yung subject ay plural, dapat plural din yung verb. Kung yung subject ay singular, singular din yung verb. Ganun lang kasimple. Bakit kaya hindi niya maitama? Ito yon. As expected from the baby bra warriors and the kids who hasn't graduated from puberty yet, ang mga defensive niyo naman. Okay, ang subject na ginamit niya sa sentence ay warriors and kids. Plural or singular? Siyempre plural. So therefore, yung, yung verb niya dapat ay plural din. Ano yung verb na ginamit niya? Hasn't graduated. Dapat, haven't graduated. Ganun lang po kasimple yun. Ulitin ko lang, yung has ay singular at yung have ay plural. Etong sentence na to ay present perfect tense. Hasn't graduated ang ginamit. Has ay helping verb at ang main verb ay graduated. Ganun lang kasimple. Wala na sanang yet sa dulo ng sentence kasi yung yet ay ginagamit lang when you are expecting something to happen very soon at a very specific time. Halimbawa, 12 o'clock normally ang tao ay or tayo ay nagla-lunch. Pero hindi pa ako kumakain ng lunch. At magti-12 noon na. So yung sentence ko ay pwedeng, It's 12 o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch yet. I am expected to eat at 12 pero hindi ko pa nagagawa. My specific time and it is expected very soon. Ganun ang paggamit ng yet. Dito sa sentence niya, hindi na kailangan yung yet kasi walang expected time na yung mga batang yun ay gagraduate sa puberty stage na sinasabi niya. You all have a good day. Thank you.